channel called Fen is quietly doing something insane. Now, camera, I'll show them my screen. So, let's take an in depth analysis of their channel. You can see their estimated monthly earnings is $46,000 to $149,000. And their upload frequency is just once per week. Now, if you actually scroll down on their channel right here, you can see that their average views on each video is over 2 million. And you can see the recent post that they did is almost 1 million views. They created this post 5 days ago as of the time I'm shooting this video. And you can see it's currently generating over 2.1 thousand views per hour. Now, you can see that this is something mind-blowing. Now, here's the point. It gets crazier. Another channel in this niche called Athrium has posted only 6 videos, yet they pulled in 279 thousand subscribers and you can see the estimated monthly earnings around four thousand dollars to thirteen thousand dollars per month and right here you can see their upload frequency is zero per week so they've not been posting like that but every post they do at least it averages over one million views just one post right here on this channel that has not gotten up to one million views now the amazing thing about this is this niche is not even saturated the reason why is because most people think that you need to be an advanced video editor you need thousands of tools or thousands of paid tools for you to get started or they're just confused in general in knowing how to create this kind of videos and of course this is exactly what i thought too until i tried it and i created the video now take a look it's less than 30 seconds so you see that this actually works in 1998 a renowned researcher walked into his laboratory for the final time. Before he left his home that morning, he sealed a letter inside his desk drawer. Inside it, he described the exact date, exact hour, and exact conditions of his own death. Three days later, everything he wrote happened precisely. To this day, no one agrees on how he knew. Now, if you stay with me to the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how you can create this 3D style documentary animations. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ivan Kennedy and on this channel, I share with you how you can grow and scale your online business using AI tools. Now, if you're something you're interested in, you want to subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on so you're not going to miss out on any of our content. And without saying too much, let's proceed into this video. Now, the very first step we need to take in creating our 3D documentary style animation videos is to come up with a title that you could actually work on the video for and in order for us to come up with a title all i have to do right now is to head over to chat once i'm on chat gpt i'm going to tell chat gpt you're an expert youtube title writer create 10 viral curiosity driven cinematic titles written in the style of the youtube channel friend known for mysterious serious storytelling focused videos and i'm going to click on enter and of course allow chatgpt to do its job now chatgpt has given us 10 viral title idea that we could actually work on and all you have to do is to choose one that sits right with you and one that sits right with me right here is this number seven why scientists refuse to talk about the 1998 weather anomaly right or anomaly so i'm just going to copy this right here now once i copy it i'll tell chatgpt to write a script on that particular topic so all i have to do right now is give chatgpt this prompt write a full cinematic documentary script in the style of the fan for the title so let me just um copy this my title right here so i'm just going to click on add my title so you could also post this video and you can actually copy my prompt and still make it much more better for yourself so i've added my title right here and my prompt continues to read make it atmospheric mysterious serious and story driven include a strong hook in the opening smooth narration tension and a gradual reveal of the truth no fluff keep it tight hunting and investigative so i'm going to click on enter and of course chargipit is going to write a script on this topic so let's wait for chargipit to write the script right here guys can see that chargipit has written a script for our title and the next step for us to take is to create voiceovers for this uh script and in order for us to create voiceover we're going to be using a free voiceover tool called tts mp3 or you can make use of clip champ these are free voiceover tools that you can use so currently you guys can see that this is tts mp3 all we have to do right now is to copy our script from ChatGPT. You can also edit yours if you choose to, right? So once you copy the script from ChatGPT, come over to the voiceover tool, paste it right here. And right here, guys, you can select your voice, right? You can see that it also comes in multiple languages rather than English. I want to select um, a male 
documentary voice that's going to look nice just like my example i shared with you in the beginning of the video right so um let's let's settle for brian then all we have to do right now is to click on read and you can see that the input limit is three thousand characters you can put in three thousand characters here so we can see scroll down and add more scripts in there right so let's do that small script in here so once you're done make sure everything is um put in place so then we can click read and of course it's going to create our voiceover for us now after writing our scripts and generating our voiceovers the next thing for us to do is to turn our scripts into visuals that means bringing our scripts into life by creating the video itself so all i have to do right now is to proceed back to chat gpt and tell chat gpt this break my scripts down line by line for each line create a visual prompt in the style of fan their channel use stylized mannequin cgi characters with smooth faceless heads and if you actually watch fan you see that they use um 3d stylized mannequin with um smooth faceless heads right then we say um pale white mannequin skin tone simple matte textures soft day lightning minimalistic clay like clothing expressionless posture center documentary framing this is, oh wow this is nice so i'm just going to click on enter so chargibility is going to break down our scripts line by line and of course give us prompts we can use to create the visuals now guys after placing this prompt of course ChatGPT responded so all we have to do right now is to start placing our scripts line by line and it's going to give us prompts to actually create each line now the reason why we are creating line by line so we can have enough scenes and every scene should match each line of the script now basically guys this strategy will make our videos full of many scenes and make it less boring matching the quality of videos in fern right so we want to create something amazing so after we pasted our first line it has given us the prompt so all we have to do right now is to copy this prompt now let's copy this prompt we're actually going to be going to a free ai video generator tool that's actually going to help us to generate these videos 100 percent for free so the name of this tool is called grok ai so once you're on grok ai all you have to do right now is to come over to imagine now let's come over to imagine all you have to do right now is to select this video section and make sure that you put it 3.2 because that is the closest ratio to youtube format so all you have to do right now is you can see type to imagine paste your prompt right here and click on enter it's actually going to create our very first set so currently you guys can see that it is generating so let's just wait for it for four percent so right here guys can see that it has generated our very first scene this is our very first scene right here and all we have to do is to scroll up and of course copy the second line so i'm just going to take the second and third together because i think they are the same right copy right here so click on paste and of course charge is going to give us a prompt for the other one so you can see guys um it has given us a prompt right here so this is it right here let me just copy and of course do the second scene so um i'm gonna click on types imagine and click on enter and of course it's gonna create the second set right so after it has generated the scene you can just click on this download icon right here for you to download your videos because you're going to need all these videos because we're going to do post-production so you can see that this is the second visual for the second line right here so it's going to also match with whatever your voiceover is saying amazing right so this is it right here overall it looks good and um we're gonna go back to chat gpt this is the third line right we'll just copy the third line right here and um go to grok paste it right here and of course click on enter and it's going to generate the third scene so we're just going to do it for every line of the scripts it's kind of stressful but it is worth it because you're going to get a very engaging video a video that every line of whatever the voiceover is saying there's a visual that's going to match it and exactly what um channels like fern and the other one i shared with you will do you know so you have to be hard working to also do this too now guys this is the third one right here you can actually check it out this is the third one so you can see it looks cool like it looks cool it looks cool so all we have to do right now is to go back and of course scroll up and we can still copy them line by line or let's say for example you can copy them section by section so let me just copy all this let me say i want to copy all this right here sorry and paste it here it's going to just break everything down for us line by line it's going to break everything down for us 
line by line, you can see everything, every so you can just copy section by section to save you more stress. Now after we are done with generating the visuals for our videos, our 3D documentary style animated videos, all we have to do right now is to do post-production. And what is post-production? Post-production is simply editing these videos, putting them together, matching the visuals according to the voiceovers, right? So right here, you can actually check it out on my screen. You can see that this is the one I created in the beginning of the video. You can see that um, this is my voiceovers right here and everything, I matched it. You can see I added the sound effects, you know, post-production to see me to add sound effects to just make your video much more better. If you want me to create an entire tutorial on how to edit your videos like this or just editing, let me know in the comment section, right? And um, let, let's play it. I think you've watched it in the beginning of the video, but let's see what I did. 1998, a renowned researcher walked into his laboratory for the fun. A renowned researcher walked into the lab, uh, his laboratory. So what I did was I added um, a sound effect of someone walking. So it's actually going to bring it to life. It's actually going to look good, you know? Let's, let's listen. He walked into his laboratory for the final time. Before he left his home that morning, he sealed a letter inside his desk drawer. Are you saying that um, every scene right here is matching the voiceover? Every scene right here is matching the voiceover. And look at it. Inside it. He described the exact date, exact hour, and exact conditions of his own death. Are you checking it out? Then the next thing Three days later. Was same. And now, because of this light that was shining, it actually signified that it's a police light. So I need a police car siren. You have to be smart while also doing this. So listen. Death. Three days later, everything he wrote happened precisely. Now, initially, this clip, I actually zoomed in this clip, I did keyframe. Now, let me share with you how this clip was originally, right? Let me delete this keyframe out. So, um, this is how this clip was initially. Three days later, you can see this clip, everything was, he wrote this clip was boring. Happened. But as I added keyframe, he brought it to life. Look at it. Now, let's check it out again. Three days later, I everything he wrote zoomed. happened precisely. So, that's what happens in post-production. It's going to bring your videos to life. It's going to help you elevate your videos better. To this day, no one agrees on how he knew. Check it out. It looks good. The voiceover also nice and a point. Now, my wonderful YouTube family, we've come to the end of this video. And if you have any questions at all, you could just go down in the comment section and leave it down there. I'm going to be replying all your comments. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.